welcome back. My name's OJ Utter and I'm here to you this week in Total Thermal. This week we are going to talk about the C5 infrared camera and how it works on water damage. Last week I told you, if you want to refer to that video, I told you we were going to do some talking about the C5 and doing wireless transfer, but I have a story about some water damage that we had down in our basement and I, we used this C5 camera to show how far the water had gone into our basement and to be able to tell how far it went up on the wall and in the areas so that we could have fans on it and be able to dry it out. So we're going to bring you that video this week and then at the end come back and we'll talk a little bit about what kinds of things we're going to tell you about the C5 in the coming weeks. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, so here's the story. We have pets, we have two little dogs, and sometimes we've had problems with them peeing in our house. So my wife tells me, this area down here is where they peed. You can kind of see it's wet, and that I need to come down and clean it up. And I stood on it and did almost a roll of toilet paper that big on that area down there and it's still wet and so I thought hmm I need to look into this more okay so this is our furnace area I'm filming and our furnace was not draining properly because the hose that is right there is clogged I need to get them in here and this whole area inside back here was all wet and it leaked all the way out around the wall into the carpet and so I went and got my FLIR C5 I've had people ask me how well does it show water damage so as you can see here you can see where the baseboard is on the video and you can see where the little cabinet is here where our wall is and you can see that even though the wall looks perfectly fine, we can look at it with the infrared camera and we can see that we're pretty wet up the wall. And I can go over there and take a moisture meter and I can test how wet that actually is to confirm this. But as you can see, if we scan and look at the rest of the wall, which are, we got a little bit of wet, um, cold air up in this area, but the rest of the wall looks perfectly fine, except for our area where we have moisture from the air conditioner leaking. So, that's how well that the FLIR C5 and as you notice I don't have any temperatures on there but the thing you have to use to confirm you can kind of tell you see how the, the the way that the it acts the way you can tell this up here is cold air is see how it's wispy and down here we have some firm lines that it follows so as it as that drywall gets wet and moist it begins to cool off as it evaporates and that is how we can pretty well tell with even without the moisture meter that it's wet but I'm gonna get a moisture meter also and I'll show you how that works okay now I'm here with my moisture meter an X Tech moisture meter and I was checking the relative humidity in it and it is 52.8 it's backwards but then when I go to the wall with my moisture meter change over to the moisture meter put it on the wall so as you can see here as we move down the wall it stays moved up a little bit there 
Higher, boom, boom, boom. We're all the way up into the 40s, 50s, 70s. So all this area is wet. And when we take our camera, okay, now we can see. So kind of in those areas where I was at is where it hit. You know, it goes from basically nothing down to pretty darn wet. So there I can kind of show you that the camera can see wetness. Now, it okay, so one aspect to note is the wetness on the walls, it is, it's not behind the wall. It actually has to touch the wall. It actually has to, that moisture has to seek through. But as you can see with the way it is, you can't tell that there's moisture in that wall. I mean, even touching it, it feels a little, you know, a little damp, like a, like it would if it was a, oh, I moved my hand. It would if it, if it was a wet area, but there we can kind of see how the wetness works. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of how the infrared camera works in conjunction with a moisture meter to be able to help you solve moisture problems in your house. If you want to know more things that the infrared camera can do, please put in the comments. If you like this and you learned something, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe and we will bring you more information about how you can use a C5 infrared camera for all kinds of things in your everyday life. Okay, so here we are the next morning. It's a little loud. We've got fans and dehumidifiers going and I just wanted to show you how we are doing in drying this area that was all wet. So here you can see with the camera, we still have a little bit of wet area over in that area where the fan wasn't pointed and I just changed and moved the fan that way. So hopefully that'll help dry that area. Um, but you can see how our wall has pretty well disappeared except for right in this corner area. And as we go around and look in this area where the furnace is, you can see we still have quite a bit of wetness in here. We'll probably move the dehumidifier in here. And we have a little bit still in the wall area. So we'll kind of uh, project the fans more in that corner and see if we can get rid of the rest of it. But as you can see, the camera helps us in diagnosing that the problem has been solved. And also it helps us in knowing how severe of a problem that we had up into the wall area. So, hope you enjoyed that. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed that video and you got some good information for how the C5 works for being able to find water damage. Uh, the C5 resolution camera, um, there is a video that I made that I will link up there that you can find out more about the importance of resolution but as a whole the C5 infrared camera the resolution the 160 by 120 19,200 pixels is a good camera for finding your basic water damage issues um, it does better than the FLIR C2 they're basically the same size camera but the resolution on this is only 6400 pixels of temperature measurement where this is 1900. It's not as good as some of the bigger cameras like the one I'm filming this with the T540 but for the price point the C5 infrared camera is probably your best camera for middle range um, use of water damage and so we're going to cover some more things about the C5 in the coming weeks so if you want to learn more about the C5 come back and we're going to cover some of the transfer, how to transfer wirelessly, some of the operations and how it works actually in the field. Things you have to be concerned about using this in the field. So, till next time, 
Stay utterly awesome and have an utterly awesome week.